Um, Coach Ehlers, first of all, just talk about this win, the comeback in the second half, everything that you guys had to do to come out on top tonight. You know what? We went at halftime, and the coaches got together first. We said, we're going to make some adjustments. We made some great adjustments. Uh, defense was already playing great. You know, the, the come out and, and do that that offensive, uh, you know, that drive. What was that, about seven, eight minutes? That was the key to the whole game, I thought, along with defense, of course. But that drive was huge for us, and, uh, you know, the adjustments worked, and, you know, but, but the Wash is a heck of a football team, very good football team. You knew coming in that they were going to run the ball. They got Alex Carr, one of the best backs in the state. What kinds of things did you do defensively to try to slow them down, especially as the game went along? You know what? We started stunt more. At first we thought, you know, if we stunt, he's going to break one. But you, towards the middle of the game, we said, let's go after it. So we started sending more guys. And, uh, you know, they didn't really adjust. So we just kept sending guys, and it worked. Okay, the defense that you guys have, you know, people might not talk about it, but it's pretty good. You know, I think we got a great defense. You know, I, I, I think it's one of those defenses, the no-names. You know, it's a no-name defense. Uh, everyone does their job. And I'm just proud of how hard the kids work. You guys tonight seemed like they had just an ability to come up when the moment was big. A couple fourth down stops, the fourth down that Cody picked up on the way coming this way, uh, the big punt to pin him down there at the end of the first half. Just talk about those big moments that you guys came up big in. You know, we tell the kids all the time, you know, if we're lucky enough as coaches, we're going to put you in the right spot. But it's you need to perform. And those, that was kids performing. You know, they had performed the last three, four, five games just like this. You know, and again, you know, people didn't really take us seriously. But, you know, we're performing well. And when we do that, we're going to win a lot of games. Talk about just how well prepared do you think you guys are for the playoffs. You play in one of the best conferences in the state, the Mississippi Valley. You did very well in that league. I think we're ready for the playoffs. But, uh, you know what, we got to play Bettendorf. They're a great traditional team. There's no doubt Bettendorf is an awesome team. We're going to have to play another great game to be in that game. So, uh, But uh, our preparation's been good, so we'll, we'll be ready. A lot of the post-game talk with the players, with the coaches, was about you guys not feeling like you got the respect you deserve. Talk about that a little bit and how you guys are going to use that going into the bed. Well, you know, I just feel that, you know, it's always the schedule, you know, we you know, it's always, hey, you did well because of the schedule. And I don't think that's always true. You know, I, I think we play the schedule that we have to play. And I think the Mississippi Valley prepares you to play so many great like Bet North. You know, we played the Cedar Falls. We played the Xavier's. You know, those are great teams. Uh, Washington's a great team. So, you know, we're, we're ready to go. That's, you, know, I, I, you know, it's too early to tell. i got to get and watch some film. So. Okay. Do you think you guys have a chance to surprise some people? Okay. You know, flying under the radar like that? Yeah, I, I, I think we're fly under the radar one game. You know, I think that game's over. Really so, you know, Bettendorf's a very intelligent uh, coach team. They're not going to, you know, let us fly under the... They're going to be just like we are. You know, it's going to be a 